the dirt is moist and I'm back at Everstoke. Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Mountain Biking Adventures. Today I'm going to be working on this berm. I got the camera sitting up on the high side of the berm. This is going to be the low side. This is one of the projects I do want to take care of and since the dirt is nice and moist underneath, we're going to get this sucker knocked out. This is part of the overflow trail and this is one of the last berms that you really need to catch a lot of speed on in order to get to the next section. It was a long winter and it was a rough winter, so let's hammer it out. Let's get a little before action here before I get started. You can see the berm, it's mediocre, it's okay, it's working, but it's not working super good. And the sight line is still pretty bad. I cut a lot of the bushes out of the way right up there, but all this has to get tossed right over here. So let's go ahead and start knocking that out. We'll build up the back with that, and then we'll start knocking down into the good dirt and toss all that good dirt right over here and beef that sucker up so we can take it at like 95 miles per hour. All right, I think that's it for today. I think I'll come back tomorrow or maybe later tonight and start working on some more when it cools off. But getting hungry, ran out of water. This thing's looking sweet. Massive, massive improvement. Sight line is so much better right here. Boom. And this thing just like, should get you all set up for this next upward thing. And that's gotta get fixed up a level too. So maybe this weekend I'll work on that. This is another berm I've been working on. I got it done. I didn't film any of this one. I figure I'll skip a berm. We got a bunch of other work done down by the shred quarters too. We got some road base. This is all looking really good. So let's move over to the next one. Okay, so this is the next berm on the agenda. This has got the double. There's one slightly above this one, just right over there. I'm gonna work on that after I knock this one out. Fortunately, this one doesn't need a whole lot of work, so let's get it knocked out. Carry a lot of speed in this one, so it's nice to kind of be able to get that wall a little bit more aggressive. As you got to come through here, and you almost got to pump out at this last second and then maintain your speed to get these little pump mounds right here. All right, let's head up over here and get that other one. So let's see if I could set the camera right here and go into time lapse mode, get this thing nice. It's actually looking really good, but it's pretty tight. So I, I really want to get this wall a lot steeper or a lot more banked up, bermed out, whatever you want to call it. That way you could really rip this sucker and not have to worry about flying out of it. So I'm going to try to take a lot of that material, toss it down right over here and beef up this wall just make everything shine a lot more. Hell yeah, that is badass right there. 
I got that sucker looking way better. Look how steep that berm is down there. It's probably hard to tell with the GoPro effect, but this thing, you're gonna be able to rail across this sucker. Let's try to get, the sun's probably gonna be in the wrong side. Let's go take a look down here. Maybe, yeah, it's really hard to tell, but anyway, one more look. Sick. H berm, it's getting better and better. And this one's gonna send you right over here into the other berm I was working on and whew, whew, right out. It's gonna be just like that. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next couple little berms I wanna fix up a little bit. I'm on rough cut now. All the other stuff was on Everflow. Rough cut just isn't as rough cut as it was before, but still a little bit of rough. I notice when I come through these trees right here, this needs a little bit more burmage to kick you back right through here and into this berm so you could hit the swooping long radius berm down this massive grade down to where the rokon is. And like this little bit of overhang right here, I think I'm going to take out that bush and this bush and just kind of clean this up a little bit right now throughout here this is what i'm mostly talking about right up here though it's tight coming through these trees which was intentional i like coming through tight trees sometimes but by doing that your body's leaning a little bit to this side so you don't want to clip that tree you're kind of riding higher and then you have to come up here which it wants to propel you all the way up high and that's kind of dirty so I want to clean up this edge a little bit and berm it out a little bit more. Nice look of berm, I think. Gotta give myself a little pat on the back. So as you come into this entrance, it was a little tight to the left, and now we got a lot more bermage right here, so you could just really keep your speed and go into that. So I'm gonna touch that up a little bit. I'm probably gonna wrap this video up soon. I'm getting whooped. Let's go scope out some of the goodness we've been working on. I always start off with this little bear trap trail. Nice. Oh man, now if I could just get this entrance to that one. Whoop. Yeah, that's uh, sends you so good. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to ESP. Let her rip to Serpent's back and down rough cut. Let her rip action. And full Brian. Let her rest. <laughs> yeah, let her rest. Those beans have been making me let them rip. Don't need to pedal at all. All right, and this goes right into the serpent's back. Fantastic. Yep, run away. Oh, nice. We'll pump it. Oh. 
I think that's doable. Dan got it actually. <laughs> Drop. Love that. Little cutty berm. All right, this is where we made some improvements right up here. Got this one, this one. Yep. Oh yeah, that feels good. Yeah. Okay. Sick. Now we are top of Everflow. Worked on some berms on this trail. We're gonna test them out. sun action in the eyes. Oh, sun eye. Sun in the eye. Whoa. This berm right here and this berm right here were both worked on. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I didn't hit the berm right. Damn! I lost focus. Touched up this one a little bit. Yep. Wow, the conditions are really good. This berm right up here I worked on. So far, no pedaling. Okay, and there's a berm up here that I touched up some more. I want to be able to keep a lot of speed out of this one up here. Freaking stupid battery. All right, I'll meet you guys up there. Okay, I think this is where I left off before my battery cut out. And this berm up here is the one I really wanted to show you guys. Carry speed through here. Yep. A ton of speed right through here. Oh, yes. That's, yes, I didn't have to pedal. That's what I was working on. And we'll finish it up. This trail's getting sicker by the day. Awesome. What we do to get the footage. All right, I'm wrapping it up. Ever stoked, ever fails to kick my butt. You can see I worked on a lot of berms. There's a lot of behind the scenes things I've been doing. Sorry about the noise, kind of close to one of the roads. This is gonna be the year where we're gonna really fine tune all the trails, get this place rocking and rolling. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in coming out here and camping. We take donations or volunteer work to help build the trail. Bugs are getting insane. I'm wrapping it up. I do appreciate you guys following along on all my rides and builds and all the crazy things I do. Be sure to make life an adventure. Go out and fix some berms or work on some trails. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for following, 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 following. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for following along on all my trails.